nail friends welcome or welcome back to my channel as always thanks for joining me today in today's video i'm going to be doing some easy nail art we're gonna do some hibiscus flowers so feel free to follow along with me if you want and try it yourself i'm so excited not only about the design but i also got a new base poly gel of the brand mccart and so i'm gonna be using that for my base so i'm really excited to be testing it out I bought this in the color a siesta. I think it's gonna come in really handy for my poly gel sets. It's like a new addition to the family every time that I get a new poly gel or a new gel. I'm just super excited about it. I'm gonna let this part play out just because I'm simply adding a base for the design that I'm gonna be painting. So I will jump back on here shortly. All right, so I'm going to be using this brown color in Cocoa Puff to start it off. This is what I'm going to be using for my French tip. As fall is upon us, I figured it would be nice to incorporate some fall colors and the brown would be great for this.
Usually when I do my fringe tips, I start by drawing the line where the end of my smile line would be, or I guess the point where I want the base to cut off at. I see some people draw the line and then connect on the sides, but I find it easy to do it this way and just already create half of the smile line. But honestly, do whatever works for you. I don't think there's really a secret code or anything to doing this. That also reminds me, if you struggle with creating fringe tips, there are fringe tip guides that you could purchase. I'm sure they're on Amazon and I do have some myself. They're stickers that just stick on to the nails, so I use those when I'm struggling to create a good fringe tip. And I'm just going to do the same thing here for my pinky and my index finger. For my middle and ring fingernails, I'm going to do a squiggly line design. I start by drawing kind of like a C shape and repeating that four times, doing one after another. On the opposite side of the nail, I'm gonna do the same thing, but try to make like a roller coaster or a shape that kind of looks like a wave. You can honestly change up the lines however if you just want to do diagonal lines or vertical it's completely up to you your choice have fun with it Now we're ready for the hibiscus flowers. So first I started by taking my dotting tool. The size kind of depends on how big you want your flower. I start by drawing three dots. The first one, um, the first one low, the second one connected and higher than the first one, and the third one low and connected. So all three dots will be connected. I do that five times so that I have my outline of the flower.
Once you have that done, you're gonna wanna take a small detailer brush or nail art brush, whatever you have, and draw two lines from the edges of the circles towards the center of the flower. Don't cure it just yet. You're going to also create lines in the middle of each petal, but do your best not to have them touching. Now you can cure it. Next you'll draw a line from the center of the flower to the outside and you're going to want to curve it. Now that you have your line, add a few dots at the top to give it some extra oomph. Although next time I do this, I don't think I'll add the line. I think it personally looks good without it, but for the sake of this video, we're going to add it. Be sure to cure it after, and I'm going to be doing the same thing for the other nail. Off camera, I did go in on the other nails in between the brown lines with this cream color and drew the lines the best way that I saw fit. I didn't record this part either, but I did go in and add some pearls to the center of each flower. And this is the end of the video. I hope you liked the design. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.